about as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. Well, just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? He is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Monk. Name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. A Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Huh. Okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. Dad, little Jamie's joined the Chelonians. That strange religious order. For him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. It couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. Uh, what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof, sir, if you'll cover us. Sure, sure. Go on. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> Full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, We're still in care. I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was going to rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. It's a, a few thousand dollars worth? Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. If you say so. Kids, keep looking. A lot of fellas bait than shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Where's my friend? 
that, buddy. I, I, Come on, speak! He... he... <laughs> hey! No! Oh. No, he's, he's in a cabin! Down by Braithwaite Manor! Near the cornfield! Thank you. Give me a sec. Come on! Thank you. Arthur! outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man so in love with greed he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. 